Hey guys, Nick here with Gear Nut, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tack Sack 13 by the company Nutsack. So, if you guys are wondering about their bags, I can tell you right now, they're freaking epic. This is the Satchel Pro. I've had it for two years, still 100% functioning. It's dirty, it's got scuffs and distress, and it's got patina, and it's got scars on the leather, right? but it's still a 100% functional bag and I need to clean it, re-wax it and condition the leather. But there it is. I don't, I don't clean these. I think I might have conditioned the leather one time. That was like a year ago and it needs done again. So there is a little bit of maintenance to this style of a bag, but this style of a bag is a sleeper. It's a gray man status. People don't look at this bag and say tactical, right? That's what I like about it. Plus it's quality, it's made here in the United States of America. And I love that. My phone's dying over here. Uh, this is the other one, Ugh, the rucksack, the nutsack rucksack. I don't even have the top buttoned up. It's all dirty, it's scuffed from the brick wall. You know, where I go to get in my pickup. <laughs> I use this as an everyday carry bag for work and it works extremely well. It's dirty, I need to clean this both of them but they work i've got a year with this one i've got two years with the satchel pro love these bags very very handy and this is the tack sack 13. <laughs> so there's some really awesome updates and changes to their bags i'm super excited about all of them super excited about all of them so you guys notice the strap it's not black it's not a black strap anymore it's it's got two adjustment points and a shoulder pad versus the previous only had one adjustment point, no shoulder pad. And I like the shoulder pad. It's super comfortable. It's got some nice squish to it. It's got breathability. And then it still has the Martex and wax canvas on the outside. It's still got the look. It's got the leather. It's lightweight and it doesn't pull and slide all over the place. You can, you can slide it, but it has it holds its place, right? I love that, I love it. I like these two adjustment points because it gives you 100% shoulder real estate. You don't have an accidental adjustment sitting on your collarbone at any point. It's adjustable to your liking, love it. Now that takes and attaches to the back here with these two D-rings. So these are on the back of the bag versus on the side. And on the side, that did impede your hand, you know, to get in there and get your zipper. So that did get in the way sometimes. So I like seeing these two uh, D-ring attachment points on the back. There's a, a sleeve that's been added. My previous bag did not have that. <laughs> I'm super excited about the sleeve because I just been taking and tossing my tablet in there. So my iPad fits in there with the OtterBox case on it that I love. Check out that new logo. That is freaking sweet. Love it. Love the stickers. Love it. So that's on my iPad for that reason. Now, these two drainage holes down here, they're only on this sleeve portion. They don't go into the interior portion of this bag. So if water does get down in here, it has a place to drain out and go. It doesn't just sit in there and then wick into the bag. Super cool. And as you guys can see, there are some other little portions here where you can tuck in a pocket knife or a couple pens and a, some notebooks, whatever you guys want to stick back there. It's quick access and it's right against your body. So a lot of people won't notice it when it's riding against your body. Super cool. So this bag is thicker than my pre the predecessor, I guess you should say, <laughs> than the Satchel Pro. It's noticeably thicker. <laughs> so... I, I've been carrying more stuff and I'm glad that they have a shoulder pad on there because it's required when you're carrying heavy loads, right? The bottom is beautiful freaking leather. It's, I've already got scuffs and scrapes on it. I've been using this bag. I love it. I can't wait until it looks like my old Satchel Pro. It's going to be break in. It's going to have that patina and scars. It's just going to become really, really cool. I get a lot of comments and compliments on these bags. 
their quality. People come up and they feel them and they're like, wow, that's the same material that my welding jacket was made out of. I'm like, well, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but they, they like it, they can tell. They, everybody's just coming up, touching them, looking at them, and they draw the right kind of attention, not the, oh, hey, that guy's got a gun attention, right? So that's why I like these bags. They look good, they remind me of Indian the Jones. And I spent a lot of time watching that with my dad. So of course it brings back fond memories. So they added a zipper pull to your front pouch right here. Oh, this, this bag is still getting broke in guys. It takes a little bit for those zippers and this flap to really get used to bending and folding. So like on my old bag, check this out. I added my own zipper pull because I didn't have it. Look at that. Zippers. Beautiful. Look at this thing. <laughs> a lot of adventures with this one. A lot of memories, and my kids love it. So they're hopefully they don't try to steal it because I'm still using it. <laughs> but I like the fact they added a zipper pull. I don't have to add one. YKK zippers. Absolutely freaking love it. Uh, front pouch. You know, I just keep some medicine with me, some Advil, some Tylenol, um, just some travel stuff. And a notebook, this is to use and abuse, loan out, a cord. I don't have one for a flashlight. I probably should stick one in here for a flashlight, but this is what I'm carrying. So a cord for charging my phone or my iPad. I can only do one or the other. Now the main compartment has four zippers. So I can access it from the top, I can access it from the side right here, which is really cool. So if I'm in a crowded place and if I have something in here I don't want to be known, I can just slide my hand in here and grab whatever I want. Maybe I wanna take and just kinda of pull out my, my battery charger, right? Without opening my bag and having people peek in because you might have something in here that you don't want a lot of people to see. So it's nice to have that option from both sides so you can access your compartments. Let's unzip this and get the show on the road. So as you guys can see, <laughs> the conceal, modify, and carry bags are pretty freaking epic. You still have your front two pouches just like on the Satchel Pro. And yeah, the Satchel Pro fits entirely inside of the Tac Sac 13. <laughs> How cool is that, huh? So, pre previously you've had the two pouches, just like so. You still have them, I love them, they're great. You can take and toss in, maybe you got a sketchbook that you carry around with you, and a black wing pencil, like me. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, have a back backup flashlight, it's a nice place to tuck it. You can grab it and get to it. You know where it's at, it stays where it's at. You can toss in your battery bank, I reached in there and grabbed that from just the side access. So pretty freaking cool. Love the Anchor Company. Absolutely 100% love that company. Haven't been let down at all. The interior still has that soft lining and then it has all this webbing back here. So I love this webbing. You don't have to do a setup like this. You guys can do whatever you want. You guys don't even have to use the webbing in the back if you don't want to. That's the nice thing. You can just fold up some cords and tuck them in and use that as a cord organization system. I love that aspect. It's super nice to be able to keep your, your cords neat and tidy. That way they don't get tangled and you can grab the one that you want. Or like me, you could put a gun and a holster in here, or I guess you could put a, a, a holster and a couple mags <laughs> in your bag and they're secure. They're tucked away, they're squared away, and you can get to them and do what you want with them when you need them. Or you can stick some pens down in here, you know, a Sharpie. Or maybe you have like a bolt pen, like I do. You can slide it in there. I don't use this very much, neither do I on the Sharpie. That's why they're not in the front compartment. I just tuck them back in here, and I'm good to go. I love the little made in the USA flag. <laughs> the, the tag is amazing. I love the way that they did this. I really hope that the Nutsack Company, if they're watching, I really hope that they do the same thing with the Rucksack that they did with the Tac Sack. So the Tac Sack 13, 
If you guys are wondering where I got the holsters, I made them. <laughs> this bag was good enough that I came out of retirement in order to do justice for this. I should have just took and bought the holsters from Nutsack, but I think there's like a three week wait on them. I was like, no, this bag needs to be out there on the internet. <laughs> this, this is epic. People are gonna love it. This is gonna meet so, this is gonna make so many people happy, right? I know a lot of my friends have been asking about a concealed carry bag that's like this, but has this option. So, super cool. My gun is loaded, so it does work. Holster works fan freaking tastic. I can even take and put my thumb over here and pull it out if I need to. Uh, like my grandpa said, an unloaded gun is a paperweight. So, yeah, I thought about taking and unloading it for the video or the camera. I try to be as real as I can with you guys. So, that's what it is. Finger off the trigger and you're good to go. So, <laughs> that works out so freaking well. Oh, I have to do it at a weird angle too because the camera's right up here and I'm standing way out by the workbench and <laughs> stuff like that. But if you guys wanted to know, I'll try to roll some pictures in on how I built this holster. You guys can look at it um, and replicate it if you want to. A nutsack, if you guys wanna utilize some of these designs, I don't care. I love the stuff you're doing and other people would love this. The mag pouches, same deal. Just pull out, good to go. I need to standardize my ammunition, but I've got a range mag and a backup mag in here. So I need to actually pick one cartridge from one company for concealed carry versus having some round ball, full metal jacket, or whatever you want to call it, or some FBI hollow points from Federal. And then I have Hornady in there. Whoa, what a nightmare. But for right now, I just wanted to show you guys how this works. No, I will not be making Kydex holsters. <laughs> I came out of retirement just for a day to make this, to show you guys what it's like. And I'm glad I did it. So I'm glad I did it. Nutsack, this is an absolutely fantastic bag. I love everything about it. This handle back here, I, I am, I'm super happy about it. It's the same deal as on the rucksack. I love that. Um, I guess that might've been my only complaint on the Satchel Pro is the handle was different and it was less comfortable, but I didn't really use it as much. But now that I have the handle right here, on the tack sack, I'm glad it's there. I love it. Love the additions, love the attention to detail, and I love that they listened to their users. They listened to their customers, as I just dropped a screw. This is a workshop anyways. <laughs> so, nut sack, two thumbs up. If you're wondering about what I think about the tack sack 13, I absolutely love it. I wonder what the differences are between the Tac Sac 11 and the Tac Sac 13. I wonder if I could still get the same holster set up in the Tac Sac 11 versus Tac Sac 13. Cause I wanted room to manipulate if I had gloves or whatnot and grab whatever I need, right? So I don't know, something I'll have to look into. And if you have a Tac Sac 11, let me know. Can you get a Springfield XDS in there and two mags? I've got a seven mag, I've got an eight mag and I've got a nine mag. <laughs> So pretty freaking cool, but I'm, I'm super stoked about this. I love the fact that this company listened to the users and made a bag for them. Super cool. Lifetime warranty, Martexan, or was it Martexan? Martexan wax canvas? Yeah, quality leather, just, just a fantastic bag. And it looks real sharp too. So if you're wondering what I think, two thumbs up. So far, I don't have any gripes about this at all. I love it. So if you're wondering, I'll have a link. You guys can go check it out. I don't get anything for that. This is just for you guys. Um, I, I'm not sure if they sold out of these yet. I imagine they will. So head over there, check it out, see if they're sold out. If they are, uh, email them. <laughs> email them, talk to their customer service, let them know you're interested. So Nick here with GearNut, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'd highly recommend you guys go check these out. They are a little bit pricey, but from my experience, these bags last a long time. So highly recommended. 
I'll check you guys later.